damn, it's cold, though. It's cold, bro. You heard? I'm on Broadway. Let me go snatch something. Do I got my mask on me? Damn, I don't got my mask on me, man. So I'm fresh home from up north, you heard? I may have been home like six months. I'm fucking with my cousin. The nigga Val Dawn, right? He mad reckless hanging out in the Ville, going out to LH, motherfucking running up in Howard. You understand what I'm saying? We just was doing loose shit for niggas that was on parole. I was on parole and that nigga was on parole, you heard? So we do a stupid shit like that. So I don't know what I was smoking, but um, I let niggas somehow convince me to go into this lounge that was motherfucking um, across the street from picking projects in East New York called Caribbean Nights or some shit like that. You heard? It's got to be like nine, nine, maybe 2000, maybe 2000, but probably like nine, nine. So Now I know damn well I don't supposed to be in no clubs like this No lounge like this Fresh out the penitentiary On parole You understand what I'm saying? No way You heard this shit right across the street from picking projects I know niggas got their ratchets in there I'm on parole I ain't got no ratchet I'm in the club with nothing but ex-felons don't supposed to be associating with ex-felons. I'm in the club with nothing but ex-felons. You heard? I'm with this nigga Val, this nigga P. Wizzy. You heard? I can't remember who was there with us. It might have been Mel. Mel might have been there with us. You feel me? It was a few of us there. You heard? And I remember I'm in the spot. We chilling, listening to music and shit. So I see some commotion. I'm like, what's, what's that little commotion? So I go to the back, like to the back room by the bathroom or whatever. I go up in there. This mad niggas up in there. This nigga P Wiz in there. He barking on some some nigga. You know what I mean? Like he barking on some nigga, but not not really barking, but just talking to this nigga extra kind of spicy. You heard? So an East New York nigga. So the East New York nigga that he talking to, he a little younger. So the nigga is trying to be diplomatic. He like, nah, listen, this is what I meant by this, blah, blah, blah. Because they had gone to some words about something. And the nigga P. Wiz was being extra, extra aggressive. I'm standing there. So, you know, it's like five of us from the Ville. Five of them niggas from East New York. You feel what I'm saying? We in the back room. So in my head, I'm like, why is this nigga P. Wiz talking to this nigga extra spicy and greasy when... We up in these niggas club, in these niggas hood, you feel what I'm saying? Bottom line, shit was looking dangerous. My intent, my spidey senses was going off like, be on point nigga, cause niggas in here wilding out, you heard? All of us is fresh home from up north. Me, Val, P Wiz, and probably whoever else we was with, we all was fresh, we was all fresh from up north. Now, my cousin is the type of nigga, nigga is sporadic and he will, Disappear on your ass You heard You turn your back For two seconds That nigga be gone You understand what I'm saying So I'm in the club Listening to music and shit I turn my back I don't see none of these niggas I see somebody That we was there with I'm like yo Where the fuck these niggas went He was like oh 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 I'm talking about Val and the nigga P Wiz Yo them niggas Them niggas shot back To the field right quick To go snatch up um Such and such I don't remember Who they was going to snatch up they just went back to the Ville to go snatch such and such. They'd be back. So I'm like, why is this nigga leaving me in the club fresh on parole with a bunch of East New York niggas? This nigga right here trying to die. Like niggas be literally just walking into the streets. Like this nigga just walked into the streets, texting on the phone. Like almost smashed this nigga. But anyway, so, um... Yeah, so I'm like, why would this nigga leave me in the club with a bunch of East New York ass niggas and I'm the only nigga in here right now. You heard that these niggas probably never seen in their life because I'm fresh home from doing six years in the pen. Niggas don't fucking know me. 
You understand what I'm saying? So I'm like, and if I know this nigga, he ain't going to be back in no 10, 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Niggas will be back in an hour and change or something like that. You heard? So now I'm like, so now I'm sitting in the club, my nigga. Remember, this nigga P. Wiz just finished talking extra spicy and greasy. You know what I mean? Like a piece of chicken to this, to this nigga from East New York. You know what I mean? It was extra spice and grease on the chicken, the way he was talking to this nigga. And the little nigga that he was talking to was trying to be diplomatic, but I don't trust none of these niggas in here. You feel what I'm saying? Especially now that niggas bounce. So now I'm in the club, dolo basically, after niggas just seen me with the niggas that was talking extra spicy and greasy. You understand? So now I'm in the motherfucking club, my nigga. This is a lesson learned. When you go anywhere, have your own vehicle, my nigga. You understand? Don't go places with in other people's vehicles because if other people got to go handle shit, you are without transportation. You understand what I'm saying? So now here I am sitting up in this motherfucking death trap lounge across the street from picking projects, right? So now I'm in there, I'm like, my nigga, now I can feel the tension, my nigga. I can feel the tension from niggas. I'm niggas is walking past me, looking at me. I'm sitting down at the table, bobbing my head to the reggae music, right? And in my head, I'm like, listen, nigga, you just came home from doing six joints in some of the worst jails in New York State. Fuck these niggas, you good. So I'm like this. Listening to the joint, my face screwed up. Not screwed up, but my face is letting it be known like, yeah, nigga, I'm in here. What's up? But deep in my head, I'm like, why the fuck would these niggas leave me here? Look, yo, real talk, like, this is the shit I don't be understanding, my nigga. Like, I don't know, like, let me let me show y'all niggas this. Hold on. Like, why would niggas want to fuck up this beautiful ass mural? Like, why y'all niggas want to fuck that up, like? That shit was a masterpiece. Luckily, I did a video with some footage of that shit before niggas violated like that. It's like, why niggas violating like that, though? Shit was art, major artwork, my nigga. I don't understand. So like I said, right? So I'm sitting in the club. So I'm sitting in the club. I'm like, so niggas is walking past me, my nigga, looking at me like, who the fuck is this nigga? So like I said, I'm hearing a little commotion behind me. Niggas whispering and shit like, fuck's this nigga, man? What that nigga right there, son? You understand what I'm saying? So I'm like, yo, it's a rap, my nigga. Like, these niggas is about to, like, I'm going to end up getting murdered in this motherfucker. Like, and then I'm starting to think, I'm like, I ain't trying to go step outside because then it's going to look like I'm scared and I'm going outside to try to get away from all of the stairs and the tension inside the building. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, nah, I ain't going outside, my nigga. But this nigga's walking past me, screwing. You understand what I'm saying? Niggas walking mad close to me, like almost nudging me. I'm sitting at a table by myself. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, Psh. These niggas better hurry up back, my nigga, because it's only a matter of time before one of these East New York niggas front. So, so like I said, so I'm sitting up in this motherfucker. They don't know me. Somebody gonna say I was with them niggas from Brownsville. That I just was in here talking spicy and all of that. You feel me? And and niggas probably think them niggas went to go get grips and come back. You feel what I'm saying? Because the way niggas was talking and then niggas spent off, niggas probably like, yo, them niggas went to go get grips and shit and niggas and shit. You feel me? So I'm sitting up in the motherfucking club, dolo. Niggas walking past me like this. Niggas walking past me like, fuck is this nigga? You heard? No niggas got them hammers in there. This a little bullshit lounge. This ain't no motherfucking spot where niggas is getting searched and all of that shit. You heard? So now I'm like, oh man, what the fuck am I going to do, my nigga? What am I going to do? So I'm still sitting there, not me, <clears throat> grill on my shit, not me, like, Cause now I'm starting to feel that tension crazily. You feel me? And I'm not going, I'm not trying to, I'm trying, and I ain't trying to give off no vibes like I'm scared or nervous. Then niggas gonna smell that nervousness. You feel what I'm saying? And then niggas is gonna front. 
tension game was through the roof, my nigga. You heard? The tension game was through the roof. It was it was heavy tension and heavy funny style vibes in the spot, my nigga. Heavy. You heard? I ain't know what the fuck I was going to do. Just when the motherfucking tension got so thick that like niggas was behind me like, son, listen. It was mad noisy in the club, mad chitter chatter. And then niggas started getting mad quiet, my nigga. And niggas was sitting behind me at the bar. You heard? Niggas was sitting behind me at the bar. And I had my back towards these, back to these niggas. So I couldn't turn around and look at them because then that would that would be me being nervous. Like that nigga Nas said, are you the one they looking at? Because when you're looking back, it shows signs of fear. If the drama's severe, you heard? So that's going through my head, nigga. That bar is going through my head while these niggas is sitting behind me and quiet. I'm like, damn, don't look back, my nigga. Don't look back because then you're going to let these niggas know that you type nervous. You feel what I'm saying? So, like I said, just when the tension got to a point where... I started getting confused into not knowing what the fuck I'ma do. The motherfucking door opens. See a nigga come through the door. A nigga got a big ass motorcycle helmet in his in his arm. You understand what I'm saying? Nigga comes in. Nigga walks. Nigga comes in the club. Nigga got the stupid ice grill on and the stupid bop. You heard? I'm like, yo, who the fuck is that? I feel the club tense up. As soon as the nigga walk through the door, I feel the club tense up. You heard? Niggas like, I'm like, what the fuck is that? I look. It's this nigga Papa Jock from the Ville that I was in green with. You heard? The nigga Papa Jock comes in. Nigga got the monster bop with the monster grill. You heard this? Yo, look at this shit. Look at this shit, hold on, look, 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 look. I'm in Brownsville, my nigga. I'm on, yo, I'm on Mother Gaston and Bergen. Look, look, this shit getting gentrified, my nigga. You got white people living in fucking condos in Brownsville, my nigga. Oh, shit, this shit crazy, my nigga. Niggas living in fucking condos, my nigga, with my projects right there. With my projects right there, my nigga. Oh, shit. Look at this shit, my nigga. Look at this shit. Shit. Niggas across the street. Niggas got condos. Niggas got wild condos across the street from the peas and the veal, my nigga. What? Niggas living. Oh, shit. Shit different in New York, my nigga. Shit is different in New York, bro. So let yo, so check it, right? So boom. So like I said, it's the nigga Papa Chop. Son come through stomping with the stupid grill on the whole club tense up. I see this nigga, I said, is that that nigga Papo? You heard? So this nigga spots me before I could even say something. He like this. He like, hey yo, I know that ain't my nigga B Lils. I know that ain't my nigga B Lils. So I was like, yo, what up, son? What up? I get up. This nigga gives me the crazy hug, my nigga. You heard? This nigga gives me the crazy motherfucking hug. Nigga damn near picks me up off the floor. Yo, nigga, what the fuck when you came home, nigga? Oh shit, my son. My son B Lils, what up, nigga? B Lotus, what up, nigga? When the fuck you came home? I'm like, yo, son, I just came home a few months ago, you heard? He like, oh, shit, yo, who you here with, son? Who you here? I'm like, yo, I'm here with the nigga, the nigga Slills and the nigga P Wiz, man, but them niggas spent off. I don't know where the fuck them niggas went. He like, yo, word, he like, yo. So the nigga starts looking around the club. He like, he told me, so son was like, you all right in here, though, nigga? I know none of these niggas ain't in here trying to front, you heard? Yo, 
Oh, son, word to my mother. All of the niggas that was walking past, grilling me, saying slick shit, whispering. All of them niggas, my nigga. Was, niggas was motherfucking. Niggas had dusters. You heard? Niggas all of a sudden had dusters. Niggas was dusting the wall, dusting the bar. <laughs> I looked around when someone was like, yo, son, I know. He was like, yo, you all right in here, right, nigga? I know none of these niggas trying to front on you in here. Nigga, I looked around. Niggas was like this. Niggas was dusting the bar, my nigga. Niggas was like this. I wasn't grilling that nigga. That wasn't me saying nothing. I'm like, nah, son, I'm good, my nigga. I'm chilling, my nigga. Niggas is chilling, you heard? I ain't even I ain't even say nah, son, before you came in, niggas was walking and talking and whispering and huffing and puffing and niggas was doing a lot, you heard? But I ain't even wanted to be no smoke, my nigga. You heard the son came in there, whatever type of shit he was on. Son is a Brownsville nigga. Son is a Marcus Garvey legend, you heard? I'm in Brownsville right now. I'm on Rockaway Avenue right now. Son is a Brownsville legend. He's from Marcus Garvey Village, but he used to be in East New York heavy. You heard? And he was out there doing him. So when he stepped up in that club, I saw the whole energy change. When he stepped up, when he came through that door, I saw the whole energy change. Niggas like, ah, this nigga. You know what I mean? Niggas, no son, stay with it. Niggas like, ah, this nigga. You heard? Even before he said something to me, I seen the energy change. You heard? When niggas seen that I knew, son, niggas was like, oh, man, why the fuck was we grilling this nigga and all of this shit? And I still kept it official. You heard? Shout out to my nigga John Dilly. I'm riding past his block right now. You heard? Brownsville houses. Shout out to my nigga John Dilly, man. But it's like, yo, yeah, so look how they did the school over. Niggas killed that. This shit was abandoned for 10,000 years, nigga. You heard? Niggas did that right. I'm like, yeah, man, so. um, Yeah, so like I said, I ain't even blow it up. I ain't even blow it up. You feel what I'm saying? And I just chilled with son until them niggas got back. You feel what I'm saying? And, and I'll just never forget that because that nigga might have saved my motherfucking life and ass that night because them niggas was looking greasy my nigga like they was ready to do something you heard when son stepped through that door that whole vibe was different you heard so i mean in memory of son i'm gonna ride past his hood you heard but um you know some of the dudes that i speak about you know i wasn't in the streets doing crimes with niggas you feel me i wasn't some of these niggas from the Ville, I didn't necessarily go to school or grow up with. It's just niggas that I was in the pen with at a period of time. You feel what I'm saying? And when we was in the pen with each other, we kept it funky with each other, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? We kept it real with each other. You feel me? So um, I say that to say, cause you know, a lot of niggas done, um, a lot of niggas went home to do heinous shit. And a lot of niggas lost their lives and shit like that. And you know, we all grew up in a fucked up environment, man. So we all made some terrible decisions. Shout out to Betsy Head. I'm, I'm cruising through, baby. You understand what I'm saying? But we all made some terrible decisions that costed us lives and time and the pain and shit like that. You feel me? So it's like, I just say that to say some dudes that, you know, I had the honor to be in the penitentiary with, I mean, on Rikers Island with shit like that. Like, you feel what I'm saying? I gotta tell their histories and tell their stories about certain things. You feel what I'm saying? So it's just like that. But um, yeah, the nigga Papa Jock though. I mean, we was in Green together, and I remember when Son came to Green. When Son first came to Green, my cousin told me he's like, "Yo," he said, "Yo, the nigga they just bought the nigga Papa Jock here. You heard that nigga in the receiving room?" I'm like, "Word." He like, yeah, nigga, it's about to get super turned up. You heard? He like, yo, it's about to get super turned up, my nigga. Because this nigga is out of his motherfucking mind. You heard? <laughs> he like, yeah, son, this nigga's crazy. So, boom, we all go to meet, son. Like, I mean.